The main effect of these storms is that they have global impact. They move excess energy out of the hot tropical latitudes towards the cold polar latitudes. Uh, they help maintain the heat balance of the planet, if you will. And that's the fundamental thing that storms do on this Earth. Uh, they're also, while they do produce bad flash flooding, they can at times produce beneficial rainfall for many countries. You know, parts of the southeast United States depend on the regular occurrence of landfalling hurricanes to recharge aquifers and to get, get, uh, get these, these, these places out of their summer long droughts. They uh, promote the health of forest ecosystems because these damaging winds come through and clear out a lot of the old weak disease trees in tropical forests and allow the forests to uh, rejuvenate. And uh, they certainly are potent agents of beach erosion, deposition of sand, they also cause barrier islands to shift over time. And we know that human beings love building towns on barrier islands. Galveston, Texas is a great example of a barrier island built that was destroyed in 1900. Uh, and in the Atlantic Ocean, we think that these hurricanes drive this giant overturning of warm water flowing north and cold water flowing south called the thermohaline circulation. It's a giant conveyor belt of water. And we think this thermohaline circulation actually regulates the Earth's climate on short time scales, and hurricanes may actually help to drive this.